Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this course website over here using HTML and CSS. Now in this video, we will add the functionality of this web page. So whenever we click on this new code button or whenever we refresh this page, we want to have a new code displayed over here and also the author of the code displayed over here. So we'll be doing that using JavaScript and we will use an API for that. So let's get started. Now the first thing we will do is we will get the link of the API. So just google for quotable API and you will find the link of the API over here. So let's go to the link and this is the API so we need to get the link of the API so let's scroll down and here in the example we can see different ways of using this API. So if you use forward slash random then it will generate a random code for you and here we can see we also have the option of filtering the codes with tags. So here we can see we can add tags technology and famous codes and then we can get the codes regarding these two tags and if you scroll down we can see that we also have options like max length. So here we can see we can set the max number of characters that should be in a code and we can also set the minimum length of the code and also the maximum length. So there are a couple of options that we can use and if you just type forward slash codes then it will display a list of all the codes and here we can see we have the query parameters and uh, we can get the author by just typing dot author and uh, we have all these options over here and here we can see all the query parameters are displayed over here and let's scroll down and here we can see the examples of how to display a specific page number inside a list of all the codes. Now one page will display 20 codes and uh, let's scroll down. We can also filter by author so we can just type author equals and the author name. Right now let's scroll down and let's find an example. Here we can see a code example so I'll just copy this code from here and let's go back and let's go to the main.js file and I'll just paste the code over here. Right now let's go back to our design and let's open the console because uh, here we can see that we have displayed the content and the author inside the console. So I'll just open the console, I just right click over here and click on inspect and let's open the console and here we can see we have a code displayed over here and we also have the author displayed over here. All right now that we know that the data from the API is being fetched correctly, let's go back and uh, let's add the data to these elements over here. So instead of this text we need to have the code and instead of this text we need to have the author. So let's go back and here we'll also type question mark max length and we'll set the max length to 100 so that we don't have a long code displayed on our page. All right now let's include this code inside a function. So I'll just create a function over here. I'll just name it next code and uh, we will add this code inside the function and we'll just cut this code from here and we'll add it inside the function. Now the next thing we will do is we'll remove this console log from here because we don't want to display it in the console we want to display it in the HTML. So let's go back to our index.html file and we need to reference some of these elements from here inside the JavaScript. So we need to reference the code content, we need to reference the code author and also the new code button. So let's go back to our main.js file and uh, let's create some constants. So here let's type const code content equals document dot query selector and here I'll just type code container code content because if we go back to our HTML we can see that we have this code container division and in that we have the code content and then we also need to have the code author so let's reference that so I'll just type const code author document dot query selector code container code author and then we also need to reference the new code button so let's type const new code button equals document dot query selector and code container new code button now the next thing we will do is we'll create a function to display the data inside the HTML elements. So let's create a function called update code and now we will call this function from the fetch API. So here I'll just type update code and I'll just pass this data variable. Now in the data variable we will have the content and the author. So we'll just receive it over here. I'll just name it data. You can name this anything you want. So here I'll just type code content dot inner html and here we'll type data dot content and code author dot inner html 
equals data dot author so what we are doing over here is that we are getting the data from this fetch api and in that we have the content and the author and we are adding them to the code content and the code author html elements now here i will run this function next code because we need to run it at the time of page load and we also need to run this function when we click on this new code button so let's add an event listener for that so i'll just type new code button dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and here i'll just create an error function and here i'll just type next code now this should fetch new code when we click on this new code button and let's go back to the html and here instead of this code i'll just type loading code and i'll just remove this author from here and let's go back and here we can see we have a new code displayed over here and we also have the author let's click on the new code and we have new codes displayed over here every time we click on this new code button and even if you refresh this page you will have a new code displayed so let's refresh this page and here we can see we have a new code displayed so that's basically how you create a code generating website using html css and javascript all right that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank <music> you.